Hi guys, it's Mark here, back again with another vlog, and in today's vlog I'm off to Stratford Comic Con with Paul from McTree's Autographs. We're going down to meet Michael Hembry, who played an Ewok in Star Wars and a Gringotts Goblin in Harry Potter. Ross Mullen, who played the Silence in Doctor Who and a White Walker in Game of Thrones. And Meltos, who played Arius Swordsman in Game of Thrones. So yeah, I'm going to take you along with me for the journey, and I hope you enjoy the video. So we've just arrived at Comic Con and I've found a load of Gremlins. He's also E.T. here, but for some reason he's missing Elliot. <laughs> and where's his boy? Yeah, there's quite a lot of stores here. Oh, cool. Daniel Mitten. Yeah. yeah. And that one as well. Signed. So I've just got back from Stratford Comic Con and I'm going to show you the stuff I got. The first thing I got was obviously I got my Harry Potter poster signed by Marco Henry who plays one of the Gringotts Goblins in Deadly Hallows Part 2. The poster is really hard to unroll so I did take a photo of it and I'll just include that here to show you the autograph. And now I'm going to get on and show you the stuff I actually bought while at the convention. And now on to the stuff I actually picked up at the convention. The first thing was on like a spinder wheel Tom Bowler thing that one of these stands had. And on the spinder wheel I won a pin badge. It was a pound ago. This was the badge I won here. This is Strange Things badge. 
I believe the badges were two pound to buy anyway, so it was pound saving to just win Tom Tom Burla. Really happy with that. I love Stranger Things, so I'm very happy to get that badge. Also, Paul did it, but Paul won um, the big bundle where you got like badges, stickers, and all sorts. And he very kindly got this badge pack, but gave it to me. It's this Rick and Morty badge pack. We've got two Me Seeks badges, Morty, and a Pickle Rick badge. That's like an ongoing thing from us at conventions. So yeah, that's the badges I got. They're from Mythical Studios. I don't know if they have a Facebook or not, but yeah, very nice badges. And that's the first things I picked up at Stratford Comic Con. Also included in our ticket admission that we won on Facebook was this print from Lee Bradley. It's in commemoration of Stan Lee and it's loads of Marvel characters. I think this is an amazing print and it does commemorate Stratford upon Avon Christmas convention as well. So yeah, definitely going to be putting this up on my wall. I'm a huge Marvel fan. I think Stanley was a comic genius. Rest in peace, Stan. You were a true legend. So yeah, very happy with this piece as well. The next thing I picked up at Stratford was a couple of books. Picked up a couple of Doctor Who books off of one store. So the first one is Doctor Who Night of the Humans by David Llewellyn. As you can see, it was only a pound. It's a Matt Smith and Karen Gillan story. Not got this book at all. Really happy to get these for a quid. So yeah, that was the first one I got. And the second one I got off the stall is Doctor Who The Forgotten Army by Barry Minchin. Also a Matt Smith and Karen Gillan story. Yeah, again, didn't have this one either. And yet again, only a pound. So I thought, you know, why not? This is a really good price for Doctor Who books in general. Especially at a convention. So yeah, two Doctor Who books that I picked up off one of the stalls. And the final two things I picked up at Stratford Comic Con were two wrestling figures. These were originally priced at £10 each, then he dropped them down to 8 and then I managed to get the two for £15. So I thought that was a really good deal. The first is this WWE retro figure of Sting. This is from the new line they brought out last year of the retros that's meant to look like the 80s figures that Hasbro did. But this is made by Mattel. Very happy to get this one. This is one of the ones I wanted. The only one I've already got in this set is The Rock. Well, I do have an AJ Styles one from a different series. So yeah, there's the figure. They are actually really good figures. So yeah, the first one's Sting. And the second figure I picked up was Kane in the same line. I really like this retro figure. It's just got really good detail. So yeah, we've got Kane and Sting retro figures. And that's everything I picked up at Stratford, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you again, Paul, for taking me. And thank you for giving me a free ticket as well and that's it guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe